Hello Tubesters, it's me Gav and welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, today it's the build vlog number 3 of my Revell 1 in 72 scale F104G Starfighter. Um, I've made some progress, <laughs> the word is some, and uh, it, it's more um, again problem solving. Now, you know, I've got to hasten to add, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a long-term figure painter, but <laughs> this is the first model kit I've done in 30 odd years, so there'll be lots of things that the guys that have been modelling for, for years will just think, why didn't you do it this way, why didn't you do it this way, um, you know, or you'd have had that kit put together by now. Uh, just from a complete newbie's point of view, it's just taking time to, you know, I make stuff ups, I'm learning by them by, the, you know, the hard long road rather than the nice easy short road. Uh, so there's been some progress on the on the plane. Uh, I'm not really fussed, you know, I was going to say like not as much as I hoped, but to be honest with you, I do this, you know, maybe for an hour an, an evening um, or, or maybe in a couple of broken up bits throughout the day as I'm painting figures, um, you know, just because obviously some, some stuff needs to dry so I try and do it in the morning so it's, it's ready to sand down or something the next day or the, or the evening. So you know there's not a ton of progress but before I start losing track of where I am I want to put these build vlogs together so you can see how I've approached something and I've probably got it all wrong but it's how I'm learning and uh, so it's going to be painfully slow to a lot of you guys and um, fairly meaningless <laughs> when you just see yeah, another piece of plastic there doesn't seem much much more to it uh, but I'm really thoroughly enjoying it you know I've got a thing for the Starfighter which reminds me I've got um, I've got a couple of photographs off eBay the other day um, I was just looking on Starfighter related things and uh, I had to quickly look there which is which. <laughs> I've got this uh, Starfighter photograph, this is a Dutch one. I'm going to be looking up, there's a Starfighter Society so I'm, I'm going to see if I can look up and see the codes and that and see where, what squadron and uh, what airfields it flew from. And this is an Italian one. So I'd like to hopefully I mean these were, these particular photographs and they, they seem originals, they're not you know, they're not um, things that have been reproduced uh, on a machine in the last couple of weeks. Um, they were, I think, about one pound thirty each, and uh, I think it was a pound each for the posting. But obviously, put them together, and I think it was just, they just charged me a pound. So uh, there was a couple of others actually, uh, but the, they weren't so close up. So I'm hoping maybe get some colour photographs as well, if, if there's any chance of that. So. Join me down at the bench, sorry, sorry for going off track a bit, but it is a starfighter. Um, uh, we'll go down to the bench. Uh, I'm going to try the overhead camera because I realised that obviously I was swaying the, the plane all over the shop last time. But So I'll try the overhead camera and uh, I'll go through what I've done. And, uh, you know, you can say, Gav, you know, you, you might have done things, you know, do, the, do it this way in future or, or whatever. But... Let's, uh, let's go and have a look at the, how far we've got with the kit. I'll see you at the bench in a minute. Alright guys, thanks for joining me at the desk. Sorry, I had uh, <laughs> a heart attack then. I thought the whole stand was going to come crashing down. Um, right, let me uh, find some form of uh, pointy stick, which I've, has now left me. So, uh, right, we'll use one of these, these paintbrushes. Right, where are we? Um, these here, oh, great, let's make this a good start. These here, um, it says obviously paint black and, and paint, uh, uh, you know, paint the insides uh, just obviously so they can't be seen. Uh, the, the problem I've had with these are, which are here on the model, is Obviously the fuselage is in two halves, which has been worrying me from the start when I saw it was. <laughs> because, you know, I just know my joint's going to look absolutely awful. Uh, and I'm not looking forward to trying sticking that together. But, 
I was worried that um, I'd either get these stuck too slightly forward or too too you know too too far forward or too far back, throwing the join of the the aircraft out. Um, I did some dry fitting together uh, as best I could because there's bits I haven't built up with the, the other section section of the fuselage, which I'll show you in a minute. And I couldn't really see a way round uh, not gluing them on. So that's what I've done. Now there's supposed to be a gap between these. It's to split the air um, when they go into the into the um, engine. So that you'll, you'll see them like on fact. Well, the Phantom's got it more pronounced, but yeah. The, so these gaps are supposed to be there. Um, let me just see if we can go in a bit. Um, that's not supposed to be there. Hang on. Where are we? Oh, bloody hell, we'll get there in a minute guys, sorry about this. Yeah, here, um, I've got to put some uh, filler in. But uh, around the front part and underneath there, that's uh, that's supposed to be uh, floating free, if that makes sense. Uh, I've just brush painted these for the, for the moment. And I'll probably just brush paint them again. Um, it was just really, that's what it called for, so. Like an idiot here, while we're on the subject, you can see this this hole's slightly out. I didn't drill these two. Didn't see the actual thing saying for you to drill the other side out. So I stuck it all together and then had to guess where they were. And no matter how much light I shone to see if I could see, um, you know, shining through the just the thinner plastic, it's not there. So that one's stuck out like a, a millimeter out to the other way. So let's see what that's going to look like when I come to glue those on. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. As I say, I'm making more mistakes than I ever thought I would. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, you know, I didn't think I was going to be turn out to be some modelling expert, but uh, it's not been going well. Uh, obviously, the fuselage, fuselage sticks together like so. Oh, sorry, guys. It's, uh, whenever I use this, I just don't use this overhead camera angle very often, and um, it just, I'll get used to it. So, yeah, we're looking like that. Uh, I wish it was all in one to be honest. Yeah, that's probably cheating, but uh, I wish it was, you know, two two halves or like the more modern ones where they've got the top body meets the bottom body. I know that's, you know, it, it's all it's all part of modeling, but uh for a newbie like me, yeah, it's a bit daunting. So um so that's that's those two stuck on there. Now the uh problematical bits for me of these bits speed brakes. Right, sorry guys, I had to cut the the, uh, the camera off then for a moment. So yeah, going back to these dive brake uh, dive brakes, speed brakes. Um, what I've done, the, the problem I've got with them is uh, under here is the actual plastic <laughs> rather than this piece of plastic card. Uh, I think they would seem to prefer you to have them displayed open rather than shut because when you shut them uh, they literally sink you know very noticeably uh, into the into like a recess and obviously they're not recessed on the aircraft they 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 fit flush the same as the rest of the fuselage um, now there's like obviously a little bracket that swings out when the when they deploy the speed brake and uh, I thought to myself, right, I'll put that in, and that will hopefully, you know, cushion it to, you know, keep it flush. Because the problem is, the let's turn it around and get it in focus. There we go. Uh, the problem is, is there's a there's a lip there that you can obviously fit your your panel on, but it's absolutely nothing around the other three sides. Now, obviously, the real aircraft, there's a very very slight lip that goes round that the uh, actual aluminium panel itself can obviously fit flush into uh, and I came up with the idea well maybe I'll just have to fill it the whole thing full of filler and sand it and I'm thinking well I know my sanding skills it's going to be rippling all over the shop and I know you can get stress stressed metal but uh, <laughs> I think this would uh, look like a relief map of the Himalayas by the time I'd finished uh, so at about three o'clock in the morning <laughs> It just came to me as I was lying in bed. Ah, I'll uh, I'll put a piece of piece of plastic card in because I've got some plastic card, obviously, uh, and I'll I'll do it that way. But there was still a very slight lip 
I could have used thicker plastic card but I didn't think it would conform uh, to the shape of the fuselage. I know that uh, I knew that the glue would help it to obviously as it heats up it softens but I, I thought well, if I use any thicker it's it might not do it so I've used this I can't even remember what scale what thickness of card it is but quite a thin section put that in and there's still a very slight lip and me being me I couldn't get it because it's the, the it's quite an odd shape uh, and it is that shape it's not just me you know uh, mucking up with the cutting uh, th there was always going to be a slight gap which I knew I was going to have to fill and first time round filled it and, and great and I thought right now from what I've seen people do I get my, my new Tamiya scriber out and I scribe round well what happened was although the, the filler had been in there 24 hours it, it actually made it uh, quite pull up in, in bitty as, uh, as you might be able to see so I tried some Mr Surface of 500 in there uh, with a brush and gently sanded it and it's still not uh, particularly great um, I'm now going to say if I can put some a bit of sanding paper on a toothpick and just try and because I don't want a giant uh, you know it defeats the object of putting the plastic card in in the first place you know I don't I don't want a, a giant recess panel line all the way around because it's not like that on the aircraft it's just like the, the rest of the you know panel lines on this this fuselage so yeah it, it's a uh, this one for a newbie again is a bit of a learning curve. Uh, I thought the sandings come quite well because the, the card did sit up slightly in places and I managed to sand that down. But I would just like this this uh, recessed panel line effect to look smooth rather than bitty because I know what's going to happen when I come to spray the... I'm going to spray some Mr Surfacer over the entire obviously, well not over the entire aircraft but wherever I've put filler just to see if what's standing up and needs sanding down. Uh, and I know that I can apply several coats, but I, I don't think even then it's this crumbly effect is going to is going to uh, not show through. So yeah, I, I'm going to try a piece of sandpaper or maybe a, t a toothpick or something and see if I can get that better. Um, there we go again. Hunt the fuselage. Uh, it's worse probably on this one here. You know, you're stuck with the idea of yeah, I can actually put filler in the whole thing and make it look fairly smooth but then that that may well look odd uh, that's the other thing it might just be a case of put more filler in and um, just smooth it all out and hope that you've got the, 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 the panel shape when it's all been primed and obviously painted I might go down that road if if, uh, if this smoothing out these joints doesn't work and I don't think it will to be honest with you but again you guys that have you know, been doing it a while might tell me different so uh, yeah, that's that's that. I put some some of that crystal clear in here. It looks a bit powdery because obviously since then powder's gone into it from the from the sanding process. Uh, I might try and clear it out, but it could probably do with a second application anyway. The the actual um, uh, see through parts were so tiny. Every time I cut them up, you just literally. I'm surprised they even be able to to cast a piece that small. And I from the start, I'd. I'd I'd got this crystal clear and I thought well that's what I'm going to do with those little inspection windows um, and there's obviously the couple this side as well now the, the, the same uh, the same process which I'll be doing later on today is putting the, the mighty T piece that uh, obviously gives it such a such a, an iconic look for the Starfighter uh, that's got to go over the top but I've left that off Again, just a learning curve. I thought, well, no, I'm going to be grabbing the fuselage all over, and you just know I'm going to be pulling that that thing off or knocking it askew. So this is uh, so this is as far as I've got. Sorry for rambling, but as I say, it's more of a show and tell. Uh, see, somebody struggles with uh, with his uh, first model. I'm calling it my first model because I say I did used to do them as a kid, but that was like 30, 40 years ago. I am really worried about how that's going to turn out. It's obviously going to have to be filled because there's dirty, great big gaps. Um, but uh, I am a bit worried how that's going to look when I come to join the two pieces together. Uh, you can't join them together until you've put the landing gear bay in here, um, which is one of the next... Uh, once I put the T-piece on, well, pratt it around first with these, these two speed brakes again, then the T-piece, and, uh, and then obviously putting the landing the landing gear bay in. 
Um, once that's in, then you can obviously join the fuselage together. Uh, the nozzle at the end, there we go, that wasn't a great fit overall. Um, I wasn't particularly happy with that. It's pointing down here on on the uh, on the model. Um, it's not a great fit underneath. But there was nothing that there was nothing really again to actually fit that to without making it look rough around the. Which has really disappointed me because I'm thinking, well, I don't particularly want to bodge a load of filler in in that. I'm going to look again at the tail pieces on the jets and just see how much was because at the end of the day this was a wraparound panel but even still um, I don't think I'm going to be able to fill that with making it look any better than it is but we'll see because if I do it here I've got to do it underneath the tail and then it's, it's trying to make it look something something like you know without having to have a, a load of wavy humpy dumpy uh, filler everywhere so guys, thank you very much for doing this, uh, stopping by and looking at this uh, number three vlog. It's uh, it's coming together uh, again. It's all trials and errors, and you know, fixing the errors. Uh, as I say, I'm enjoying it. If, if it sounds like I'm a bit downcast, it's not. I'm, I'm not at all. Um, I am really enjoying it. It's just, uh, it's just again, it, it's solving problems, and that's what I suppose. Uh, scale modeling is all about really you know I know a lot of people enjoy the painting side of it more than the sticking the bits together but um, it's you know when you are sticking the bits together it's it's how you approach it you know and and all right this is a level four kit which is nothing to, to most people but I suppose it probably I could have maybe gone down a couple of levels for a first one but as I keep saying I've, I've got a real interest in the starfighter and I always wanted to do it as my first uh, my first build uh, so yeah um, that's all I've got to say really on that one next time you see it we should have the somehow correcting the speed brakes as best I can we'll have the the, the T piece on the tail uh, the landing bay should be built and stuck in and then you may I'd, I'd like to see the fuselages stuck together just so you know I've got more to show you rather than just some of the smaller bits I've been talking about today so so guys Thank you very, very much for stopping by and taking a look at this build. Uh, it's most appreciated. And you take care of yourselves, and we will catch each other very soon on another video. Cheers.